What's up, everybody? New Heart Attack Man is out, so I'm reviewing New Heart Attack Man. <clears throat> I like Heart Attack Man, and uh, I'm going to review this song. So this song is called Loud and Clear. It just came out a few days ago. Um, haven't listened to it yet, so we're going to hear that together. Before I get into it, I always have two things to say. One is I'm not a music professional or an audio coach or uh, a vocal coach or anything like that. So don't expect me to be coming in with a you know, super fine detailed analysis. That's not what I'm here for. That's not what I do. Uh, the other part of that is don't be a dick. This song might not be for you. It's not gonna be for everybody and that's okay. You don't have to like it and you don't even have to like me. Uh, but I do request that we try to keep things fairly friendly. Um, you know, no personal attacks are required. <laughs> Uh, I am gonna change my nickname. I'm gonna, you know, change my middle name to the Plague, because that's been a, I've been accused of being a plague already. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, but with that out of the way, we'll get right into this here. So, this is Heart Attack Man with Loud and Clear. Oh, uh, I do have my coffee. Very important. Very important that I have my coffee. Gotcha. So, Loud and Clear. Here we go. I like that one. That's really pretty. It's uh, a little bit of a departure from what you might uh, normally get from Heart Attack Man. They're a little bit more heavy, a little bit more uh, aggressive as a general rule. But I really like this one. Um, to me, this really kind of, um, I don't know, it, uh, it touches the same nerves that some of the, uh, the earlier the Wonder Years stuff uh, did for me. Obviously, if you're not familiar with the Wonder Years, that's not going to mean anything to you. But um, came out swinging and like they're there passing through a screen door. Um, not that they sound the same, just that they sort of touch the same uh, emotions, I think. Uh, I really like this one. I don't know... You know, I, I need to listen to it a few more times to get a really firm grasp uh, on the song. But it does seem to be about um, growing up 
uh, partly, you know? He says, uh, the decade got away from me. I believe that's the line. Um, you know, getting from your early 20s into your late 20s into your early 30s into figuring out that the world is uh, still still exists. Life still goes on um, even when you are older than you think you'd ever be. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you, but I know that when I was in my uh, teens and early 20s, I wasn't planning to make it very long. Um, and then it turns out you get there and it's like, well, uh, there's, as Jimmy Eat World said, um, but I can't remember the quote, but uh, Jimmy Eat World, there's still some living left to do when your prime comes and goes. Um, and if you realize that and accept it, things can get a lot better. Uh, this is really pretty. I liked it. So go check out Heart Attack Man. Um, That'll do it for this one, though. Nice and short. Uh, like, subscribe, you know, go check out Heart Attack Man, like their stuff, subscribe to their stuff. Um, Here's what I found. Shut up, Siri. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Drink lots of water, get more sleep, and uh, don't talk to cops.